Hey guys, welcome back to another video of Bloom Outdoors. So if you guys checked out the last video, you would know I installed the Rough Country Vertex shocks. I can just go ahead and tell you guys those things are great. They run way better than the V2s I had on there before. I told you there's eight different settings. Right now I have them set on one and they're running pretty good. Um, I think once I put the fronts on, whenever I get those in, then I'll probably have to turn these up to like a three maybe but just with them on one right now then they run pretty good just with the regular coilovers in the front but that's not really what we're talking about in this video if you guys remembered in the last video i talked about how i had to cut the wheel well liner here as you can see it looks uh, pretty trashy but yeah so that's what it looks like uh, i told you i was going to go ahead and order some new ones i did that i ordered the rough country ones because you might be able to tell here but they sit higher up then the other ones, the other ones probably sit down to like right about here. So they drop down quite a bit more. Hopefully with these, we shouldn't have any issues. I hope I won't have to cut anything with them and they'll look a lot better. Excuse the wind or the noise, I guess. It's pretty windy outside. So got the door closed in here. Here is the rough country ones. We have the one side and the other side. They didn't come in a box or anything. They came zip tied together. So as you can tell, they're quite dirty here. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and get these kind of cleaned up so they look a little better. Pretty much the install shouldn't be too hard. If you guys checked out the other one with the Husky wheel well liners, it's pretty much gonna be the exact same thing for the most part. Um, biggest thing I think will be is I'm just gonna have to pull these out, take the rock lights out of them and drill the new holes in the new ones for the rock lights. And then pretty much just get the new ones put in. And it looks like, if you guys remember with the Husky ones, you have a bolt down here, here, here. And here, this one decided to fall out. Don't know why, but it did. So this one has four. The new ones, it looks like they have three. There's one here, here, and it's either right here or back here. Not for sure. It says there's a bolt on the frame already you're supposed to take out. Um, so we'll take this old one out and figure out where that's at. But the new ones should sit about right here for height. So... I might have to trim just a little bit of it. Otherwise, if I'm able to push it behind here, I'm not sure if I'll be able to, but I might have to just trim a little bit. But even just trimming a little bit will look better than this, um, where I had to literally cut off the whole entire corner of it, because this looks pretty trashy, in my opinion at least. Okay, so just a quick little update for you guys, show you what's going on. I got this new wheel well liner in on the driver's side here. As you can maybe see here, I did have to cut just a hair of it, but it definitely looks a lot better than how the old one did. If you guys remember, the old one came down to probably right here, and it was cut literally a huge chunk out right there. This thing curved around and pretty much just continued on that line. So I just had to cut a small little bit out so I could reach the reservoir there, but for the most part, this definitely looks a lot better than what the old one did. Pretty much on the old one, I told you guys there was bolts down here, or screws, I guess, to hold this thing in. On this one, there isn't. There's just the two right here. It was the same kind of clips that the old one had on the back side. And then there's a screw right here that was into the actual body right here. So you pretty much just pull that out and then put it back in the same spot. Um, fitment wasn't exactly perfect on that so I kind of had to notch out a little bit of the plastic uh, kind of on the top side I think so I was able to get that in without kind of stripping it out but yeah that's what it looks like um, got the rock lights re-ran and everything you can see them up under there I uh, didn't really think about that before for some reason I thought I could just pull the rock light straight up and then just drop it through in the new one but I don't know why I thought that you actually got to pull the whole thing out kind of redo your wiring so you see all the wires right there i had to undo it from the control module and undo all the zip ties and everything cut all those back up to here drill the new holes rerun the wiring up over to there for now i just got it hanging there 
um, because I still have to do the other side and kind of cut all that wiring and bring it back and everything. So I feel like the other side will probably be a little harder with the rock lights because it's a longer distance and I had to run extensions for those. This side really wasn't terrible. Maybe it took me 30 minutes or so because of the rock lights and taking out the old wheel well liners. I think honestly, if you didn't have to take out old wheel well liners or do rock lights, but you were literally just to throw these in here, it would take you maybe 10 minutes on each side. It's super easy. Um, yeah, probably honestly not even 10 minutes. These were smaller too, like I told you guys, cause the other ones dropped down. These were smaller. So they were actually a lot easier to get into the wheel well themselves. Um, cause the other ones you had to like push this side in first here to get it to shove down and squeeze in on the sides and get it to push in. This was way easier because there's not as much stuff in there. They just slid in there way easier. You can maybe see the difference in size here for comparison. So this is the Husky and that's the rough country one. Not sure if you can tell, but you can see the line right there for where the bed is versus right there. You can see this one drops down a couple more inches. And it actually also looks wider because that one's for passenger side and that's for driver side. I don't know. But uh, yeah, so so far it's really not too bad of, like I said, maybe 30 minutes. Um, and it looks pretty good. The only thing I think is weird with these is I don't know what those two bars are for. It just kind of looks weird in my opinion. I wish it was just flat right there. I think it would look better. It would look more factory, I think. I don't know. But uh, yeah, so that's... How it's going, really not too bad. So just gonna go ahead and move on to the other side. So it would be this bolt right here that I was referring to. That's the one that's already hooked onto the truck that you need to take out, 10 millimeter. Uh, I guess I gotta take those off too from the old ones, but as you just saw everything I did, pulled the old wheel well liner out, um, pulled the rock lights out and everything, got the new rock lights, put in the new wheel well liners here. Pretty much just have to take out this bolt, uh, put the, two new clips in right there and then pretty much just get the new wheel well liner thrown in and then just rerun the wiring for my rock lights and everything and then we should be good. Alrighty guys, so I got everything finished up and here you can see again what this side looks like and like I told you I had to notch out a little section right there, but no big deal. It definitely looks better than what the other one looked like. We've got the three bolts in, one there, there, and there. Um, the only thing that seems a little weird to me is just how far out this piece kind of sticks. You can see it from like right there how that sticks out. I think that's a little weird. The other one kind of shot in there more. It also covered more of this area, but that's just what you get, different brands, stuff like that. Um, also, I guess with this one too, it kind of sticks out from the, like, this piece. I don't even know what you want to say, where the fender, like, rolls in there. Then um, it kind of sticks out more. The other one kind of sat flush with it. Um, got all the rock lights mounted up, got all the wiring finished. All of that good stuff. Same thing on this side, like I 
said what the other side had to notch it out just a little bit uh, but it definitely looks better than what the other one did look like um, considering there was a huge chunk taken out of it but yeah this one looks better and it's kind of more low profile only thing that's weird is those two lines that go across there I don't know what's up with that you got the bolt put in over there um, and of course the one there and one there also uh, but yeah, so I guess that's what it looks like. Definitely looks better than it did before, and now we have some room to make those Vertex shocks fit. Um, I guess we had room before, but now we kind of have more room, I guess. I don't know. Um, def it just looks better, in my opinion. It looks a lot better than a huge chunk of it taken out. It's just one small little area this time. But yeah, so that's pretty much going to be it for this video. If you guys have any other questions, comments, concerns, Anything like that, go ahead and drop it down in the comments below. Uh, but I think that's pretty much about it. So, you know, as always, thanks for watching another video of Bloom Outdoors. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will catch you guys next time.